Bev's Video Kingdom is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Popcorn's like the worst because it gets stuck in your teeth. And I you just like, exactly. and then you hope it doesn't are, get lost are we in, your, in your we are throat. Well, Dude, it's, it's, it's so welcome delicious. to welcome, welcome to popcorn <laughs> chewing uh, kingdom. All right, let's do. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like, gonna like we're, go we're just silent. gonna chew popcorn and then try to get it out of our teeth for uh, the next two hours. Uh, that was so like the pods, settle in. The pod's gonna start, guys. Are you ready? And then I put a big handful of popcorn in my mouth. <laughs> Just nod it out. Like, okay. It's like the best food you could have for a podcast. I love it. At least I've dumped it out of the bag this time, so you don't get all my crinkles. No. Yeah, sorry, that was sorry, considerate listeners. of you, Nate. I thought about you. I was thinking about my my listeners. My listener. <laughs> was thinking about. Hey, Nick, you want to start off this pod? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to Thursday. It's draft day for the Die Hard Pod. If you haven't listened yet to our pod on Tuesday, we uh, covered uh, in depth. Deep, we got deep with Die Hard. We're in the depths of Die Hard right now. We got so deep, and uh, it's draft day, though. It's what you guys have been looking forward to. Um, it's what we can't wait for. I'm ready to get win number six. I'm ready to put this ring on the other hand. <laughs> that was an eight, by the way. Uh, yeah, ready? nobody, nobody's got <laughs> the two hander yet. Everybody's just, everybody's just sitting looking at their one hand. Nobody's got that that other hand. single fist in over here. So I gotta, I gotta address the. We have a new judge that's never judged for us before, and there's the opportunity to pander. I, I guess Brad may be able to pander a little bit. This but is Brad's guy. He's homie. I don't know this gentleman, and man, I don't know which way to go. We well, shall see. maybe you should just pick pure and not try to pander. No. That's just a thought. <laughs> I, I, I've found that does not win drafts. It worked for him. <laughs> and Thanks. last week. I'll just say the dude grew up on like the, you know the '80s action movies. That's that's his. Okay, honest. all right, I like so, that. So, I'm, I'm gonna be nice and give you. Oh, a I little, appreciate that. That's weird. That's, 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 that's different like than our usual yeah. judge who grew up on the '80s action movies. So so, so Zach <laughs> won won last week, and not only did he win, but he got his first win from our uh, go to judge, Scotch Beck. First, did, first yeah. time I've gotten laid in like six. I was weeks. just gonna say how yeah. excited was Lisa? In a while. Was, she was very excited. We should probably bring her on. I, I think she's lurking. We should bring her on later and just find out how, just how excited she was. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's ask her. That'd be. That'd I be mean, great she talk. she might actually be at the location we're recording at right now. So maybe if he gets two in a row, she's just like instantly. Oh, oh, if I win, we'll have her on to oh, to instant reaction. No, I'm saying sh- you're gonna have her on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, boom. We can, we can only hope. Zach's there here, he is. but uh, he's Brad's taking here. A, we've, we've turned off the microphone. So, <laughs> they, dude, what we got is we got. If you guys uh, did not hear us uh, in the the draft uh, or the pod Tuesday, it's most memorable one-liner in the process of a kill. I love that wording. That's all Brad right there. In the process process. of a kill. So we're saying before, during, after. um, No, I don't have a... Okay, I have a couple of clarifying questions. How far before qualifies as before? Like if you said it... If it's you're going to fight a guy, you get the whole fight. Okay. That's in a the good, process. That's a great. Like, so but you, like if it's cuts at all and you're like in a different location, that it. shit don't count. Right. Okay. I, I'm, I'm good with that. And then you said a guy. Or a girl. You can kill ladies on this pod. Could, oh, could you, I? you really thought we were just going to hold it? It doesn't have to gentlemen? be the women that kill. It can be the women that are doing the killing. Oh, no. Sorry. No, he's you talking about killing women. I'm talking about <laughs> killing animals. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or monster, no monsters, animals. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. it's a kill. Like, okay. the, yeah, for sure. Right. Just, I just want to make sure. This so is told from the viewpoint point of the killer, not the, not the I don't killed. Want I don't the, want the, the only clarification I kind of thought of was, for all intents and purposes, the person has to be thought of as dead, right? If they come back, if they come later back to life, it's fine. In something like, if they think they're dead and they're like, he lost his head. You know what I mean? Yeah, then, yeah. And then they sew the guy's head back on, and he's yeah. Right. And then he's yeah. still alive. I, okay. I think I, that's a legit. I, I'm joking. So before we get into this and we get this action going, um, hey guys, just a reminder. Thanks so much for all the support so far. You know, um, on the socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Apple Pods. Can't thank you enough. We gave our shout outs last pod uh, to our. Uh, big time followers. Um, but we would love you guys just keep that up. Uh, keep the love flowing. Uh, we feel it. Um, Christmas season, we're early December yeah. now. So, uh, 
Give us uh, the gift we've all been wanting. Give us that. Uh, give us the bow on your on your likes, your five stars. Brad, let's let's hear that Christmas sound. Oh, oh my! Oh, Santa's <laughs> coming. That's beautiful. They Santa. put me on the spot. I thought they were asking for a draft order. I was like, <laughs> on the his, wrong way. <laughs> he's on his sleigh, coming into town. He's bringing all kinds of five star reviews. Just so you know, every time shares on Facebook. Every time you guys uh, rank as five stars, our our phones go off with those bells. So make make our wives yeah. hate us. Yeah, and what did I thought those... you were going to say a fairy gets its wings because I help I us think get in the Christmas true. spirit. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been way better. Um, yeah, well, like, share, react. Honestly, just if if you're if you're a fan, you somebody like it, and you're a social media person on Instagram, Twitter, or uh, or Facebook, we post stuff almost every day on the Bev's Facebook page, and we love it when people comment. We we all jump in. You'll hear from one or more of us on directly on your comment. So. If you want to interact with us, you want to be, you know, you can post yourself. I think anybody can post. Anybody can post. So, Nobody has yet, but anybody can. So please <laughs> throw something up on our wall and, you know, that shit they, is public. And, 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 you know, let us be, you know, let us be a little bit uh, embarrassed by what it is. Make it, make it, make it kind of, <laughs> you know, a little there's a picture of us on there. Critique our looks. Yeah. We just, anything you guys got. Yeah. Tell I us our a, movie taste sucks. I have a few people have told me they've gotten some like badges from Facebook. Like you're like one of the, the BBK number, number one number fans, fans or something. So yeah. that's badass. Claim that status. It's your folks. badge. All right. Let's die hard. Let's do it. Well, no, let's talk about a draft. I wonder what that trans- translates die into. Hard. We're die hard. Oh, there's a lot of dying. That's true. Good call. Well, you guys want draft order? I want draft order. Where'd you find it this time? That's why they called it die hard? Let me take you back to 1980. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take you back to 1985. And the hottest toy in the world was the Teddy Ruxpin. And you know what? Oh, I bought one off of eBay. Ted. I got those batteries plugged into it. And I turned it on, put in a little cassette tape. And it started spouting off a draft order. It was hella freaky. <laughs> oh, dude. It was reverse. It was backwards. It was in reverse. It was in reverse. Yeah, it was voice. backwards. And I had to put the tape in backwards. It was, it was a, yeah, it was a little bit weird. But Teddy Ruxman, he told me in first, the defending champ, Zach. Oh, shit. Oh, I love Whoa. that. Good luck. A lot of pressure. Good luck. I'll take the wrap on the other way around. Good luck. And sucks. second, you've got number two is Nick. Oh, oh, that's, I'll be taking up worse. the third spot. Yes. Which gives Nate a little it's bit a, of a ability to wrap and reach oh, around. Geez. I haven't had a reach around in a minute. So Can I I'm say that I that. didn't even put like what should be the number one one on my on my list? Because I was like, there's no way I'm getting number one. Pick. There, there was only a 25% chance. <laughs> just that kind of stuff just doesn't happen to me. All right. Well, you're our lead up. Do we need to uh, uh, talk and I mean, Should we fill some air? You want me to fill sing, some time? I didn't, Christmas I didn't, carols. Uh, Speaking of Christmas carols. We should probably do like a Bev's Christmas Carol. Like you know, we should do. We should like, all get together and sing. Oh, like, I think about now. Well, we could do it now too. But. <laughs> Zach's thinking really hard. We okay, so come I'm ready. I think, I think I think the the number one is uh, not clear at all. Okay, I'm gonna go Al Pacino in Scarface as Scarface saying "Say a lot to my little friend." Did that sound like? <laughs> that sound like a that Cuban, Cuban accent. That, Cuban? that was Cuban. Because half of us have taken a stab at it so far because my little friend. What to my little friend? Day. Say a lot to my little friend. That's yeah, the best that's, one. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. That's yeah. pretty solid. His his comically huge pile of cocaine <laughs> and uh, grenade just, launcher. Yeah, he's got all the dudes. he's got all the toys. All right. So all right, it's I'm me. up in about four picks. I would t- tell me about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Tell me about the uh, what you guys think about that pick as the number one pick. Is it debatable? Uh, that that it could be one. the number one. I think okay, it's good. Defendable, but I think it's wrong. Okay, I mean that's fair, but I'm saying it's not like nobody's like, oh my god, I can't believe he took that number one, right? Like that's a pretty iconic, like. Well, I'll show you. One it's, it's, it's at the top of my list, so it's at the top well, of my exactly list. That's exactly what I want to well. see. Let me see that list again. It, it was not. It was not <laughs> number sneaky. one on mine, but it was pro- in certainly top. It was certainly right. first round. Good. So I didn't lose it in the first round. Let's go. No, All right, it's a nice start. Here we go. Uh, I'm going Clint Eastwood. Do you feel lucky? We'll uh, do you, punk. So I'm, I'm dirty, Harry. I'm kind of pissed and excited because my dad liked to say that line a lot. Yeah. And so I was really, I was kind of a mind fuck because I was like, wait a minute. Is this famous, or did my dad just really like to say it a lot? And I think it's really famous. I think it's super famous. I, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm glad. I'm just saying. I mean, I know it personally from Jim Carrey saying it in, uh, you yeah, know, like something. Ace Ventura right. or The Mask or something. Yeah, but, it's uh, all it's all Eastwood, baby. But, it's, but it is Eastwood that says it. I watched a YouTube video of it earlier, and I was like, oh, I want a first pick. So there's no way I'm going to get that. <laughs> well, the beginning part when he's like, he's like. 
He's like, "No, what you thinking?" And that's the other guy. Did he? Did he shoot shoot five five or did he shoot six? six? Yeah, I got to know. (laughs) Yeah, the the dude is all tweaked out on drugs. I mean, the dude is just high as a kite, but (laughs) it makes it almost kind of silly. Yeah. Um, All right. So the third pick. Oh man, this is this is tough, but I think it's uh, the the right way to go. Ezekiel twenty five seventeen. Damn it! The path of the righteous man is beset. I didn't put it on my list because I figured you were going to pick it. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. And clack, 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 Brett clack, clack. gets blasted. So Brad gets blasted. So yeah, uh, Jules Winfield, Pulp Brad. Fiction. It's it's absolutely memorable. So, About as memorable as it gets. So my only problem with that is that it's multiple lines, but I'll take it. I think it's a spectacular pick. When they go to that close up at the end, that that, that when he finishes that last shot. line, yeah. and then he's just his eyes are just buggy They're and like he's, black. Oh, just, yeah. Like even if you just pick the last sentence, it's pretty dope. There we go. Oh, All right. Man. So the two, the two college movie posters went first: the uh, Scarface yeah. and <laughs> the Pulp Fiction. Uh, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, so so I'm gonna go uh, what I which with what I think might have been my first overall. Oh wow! And that is hasta la vista, baby. Really? That's your pick from that movie? It's not a kill, which is... It is a kill. 100%. He says it and kills T-1000. Okay, well, okay. They, th- I guess for all intents and purposes, they think they kill it, but then it comes back together. Yeah, but no, no, no. no. Presumed I, think that, for, I think that works. I had it on my yeah. list. I'm yeah. just... I'm not okay. sure. I'll, I'll save for judgment. Okay. I'm tired. Love it. <laughs> oh, you, you guys think there's a better line from that? There's a better one. That's not what I was saying. There's I'm saying a, that there's not a better one. Via con Dios. Nobody said <laughs> that. Was, oh, that's true. He didn't he, kill him, but he, he goes he, out and he dies. lets him go die. Wave. Yeah. I mean, okay. fuck. I wanted to pick that number one, but uh, I'll leave that out there for you guys if you want to pick it up. Via con Dios. <laughs> I could go just all Arnold, Arnold here. Dude, there's we so many We all could Arnold. go all Arnold. But I'm not going to do that. If we were smart and we're in this for the longevity, we would have been like best Arnold one liner after a kill. And then we would have had this category still left. That would have been for topical for Die Hard. For Die Hard, we just go best <laughs> Arnold one liner. <laughs> All right. I'm going with. Shut up, Nick. <laughs> no, I like it. <laughs> I'm going. Sorry, Nate. Go ahead. I'm going to go to a very different genre. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. Oh. You killed my father. Prepared to die. So actually, the correct so, line is, I want, I want my, my father, father back, back, you son, son of a bitch. bitch. Yeah. But he does say that before he kills a bunch of he people. He does. That he tells he you that he does that. He says it 28 times. Okay. But, he but, said, last it, but, he, but on the last one, he says it. I want he, my father back, you son of a bitch. But he if, said, at the very beginning, he says it. And then he says he does. it again. And he says it like 42 he times. He's it. like, my name is Amanda Montoya. Yeah. Hello. Hello, my father. <laughs> yeah. Hello. With your Scarface voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Say hello so, to <laughs> So I would say that's he does say it within process and then he says it differently the last time. But my take is that that's the famous line. I think you're right. I wrote that down and uh, then yeah. I, I specified afterwards that technically that's not it, but I think it's the right pick. And I'm pissed that you took it because it was like I was pretty relying on that pretty heavily. All right. Well is it Arna, me? Ar- no, it's 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 me. Oh I'm, Nate I'm already wrapped? Three. Yeah, Nate, oh, yeah. Nate raps. You like Hasta that. La vista. But you like the rap pick, right? I, I think fourth is the best pick in the draft. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pick the, uh, Third's a close I think the, the, the correct first Arnold pick. It involves the beautiful Sharon Stone. Oh my God. It's on my list too. It's I hate you so much. And she really does not want to be killed. And so she tries to appeal to Quaid's um, <laughs> sense of loyalty as a husband. You're and, my husband. And then she gets popped in the head. Consider this a divorce. <laughs> he shoots her in the head. I fucking love that movie so much. And they made a remake of it, and it's such dog shit. I stayed away from the remake. Oh, I, I watched the whole it. thing, dude. And it's like th- longer than Die Hard. And it's PG-13, right? Because I was like toned down. and It was not awesome. I don't know. So, there was but only- yes, consider this a divorce. And that's my line. So wait, that, you're saying that's the correct Arnold consider line. that is a divorce. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he kind of butchers the line. <laughs> he does. He, he doesn't say it, it right. <laughs> <laughs> he was still working on his Arnold accent at the time. He hadn't really honed it yet. They just heard Arnold say shit, and they were like, yeah, that was, that was cool, Arnold. Good job, bud. You tried. Right. The OG where Arnold became Arnold, the correct Terminator, I'll be back. 
Yeah, that was my number one. That's Sorry, the number Charlie. one. That's a kill one. He comes he in with in the, the car, car and, and kills smashes the, guy, the yeah. dude. And in no, and it's it Honestly, clearly Bach. kills the dude. Like it, the dummy's there. Like the dude's. It's a it's a crash test dummy, yeah. but that guy's dead. Oh, he's, shit, he's hundred percent dead. I didn't. I did not have that. Well, then he yeah he proceeds to murder about like sixteen cops. Right, yeah. <laughs> and it all started. <laughs> okay, so I get two picks. You do. I'm about to get pick brutal. eight and nine. All right, so my next pick is going to be from the uh, classic Tarantino film. I like the way you die, boy. And that's when Django kills uh, something Mike. And I watched it like four times and it's fucking badass. And they're going to like, they're going to like rape those chicks and they're like beating them and stuff. And Django comes in and fucks them up. It's a good one. I mean, it's kind of, it's almost like, I mean, the, the gunshot is weird because it's like, and then he like just kind of, it's like a silent bleed. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah. Then he drops the line. It's pretty dope. All right. With my next pick. Uh, see, I have, okay. So I'm going to pick it because I think you guys might go for it. So in the spirit of Christmas, I'm going to go from the made up gangster movie in Home Alone when that guy shoots the machine gun and kills all those people. And he goes, <laughs> keep the change, you filthy animal. Oh, I have that on my list. Surprisingly, it's it's Dude. Johnny from Home Alone. Yeah, I love that. I'm going to pump your guts full of lead. <laughs> I'm giving you to all right, 10 Johnny. seconds. I'll I'm give going. you to the count of 10 <laughs> to get you yellow, no good, filthy, <laughs> something i missed one of that's them. a pretty that, that might be the best uh impersonation we've had on the show keep the change you filthy animal um, that's actually the, the tommy gun that, that lieutenant dan has at the yeah time. dude <laughs> <laughs> i like lieutenant dan's like i actually do have a tommy gun he goes it's really heavy <laughs> <laughs> kind of impractical impractical weapon but it looks so cool all right in nomine patri et fili et spiritus sancti Boondock Saints. That's the what two is, dudes that are standing, so, right? You, you can't pick it unless you can translate that into English. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, how am I going to write this? <laughs> it's the whole thing. It's like the Pulp Fiction one. They give a whole thing. It's probably just the Lord's Prayer in like uh, Italian or something. Right. Latin. Latin. There you go. I'm, I'm putting way. on the board, I'm putting Latin shit from Boondock Saints. There we go. There we oh, go. I like that. I All like right. that. I don't even know what to say, but yeah. We'll just leave it at that. You did, you did pretty good doing that accent, Nick. You sure you're not? It's on the spot. You're, you're, what, what our listeners don't all, know is that that took that, eight what, takes to do that. Was that is that, are they Italian? They are, they're Irish. Oh, they're, yeah, oh, they, and that was Latin, right. he says. I, I thought it was Italian, too, but... Uh, Nick did it with an Italian accent. And yeah, so I, I, he was like, decente. <laughs> Nick's Italian, so... Man, there's a bunch I want here. Oh, a lot of good ones. Damn it. Brad has... I, so I'm trying to peep on Brad's list right now listeners and uh it's fucking freakishly long well yeah i wrote out a lot of the quotes so all right i'm i'm who knows i might be throwing my draft here but we're gonna see um yeah, but it, it's is, that word you are. it is a classic line and it's just delivered with such passion and it's at a very pivotal scene for our adventurers because the ball rock is fucking scary it's got a flaming whip and it's coming down hard on the fellowship and L- Gandalf, L-O-T, baby. Gandalf says, I got this. And he gets out there on that bridge and he drops the hammer and says, you shall not pass. I thought that was just from a scene in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, that's <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> I'm actually doing the Sarah Marshall version. That's, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah, Jason Siegel saying it in front of the mirror. <laughs> okay. So does that count because the Balrog dies eventually? Uh, yeah, yeah. Does you, he really you, do you assume, anything to him? You assume he they're falls, both dead right? actually yeah. right. in that, so... Mm. Extra points, extra points for giving himself up. I'm not going to argue with that pick, but I don't like it. I love that scene. Well, there's no puppets, so we have there's to go. a lot <laughs> to Middle Earth. <laughs> that was as animated as Brad could find. There's a lot of good ones left. All right, so I'm going to go at number three. That is where you are. With damn, do I go double Arnold? It's a lot of Arnold, dude. I'm going to go with Sylvester Stallone and Cobra. Ooh. You're a disease and I'm the cure. The toothpick. Bingo. That's straight man Stallone. That's right. And then with my fourth pick, I'm going to go with Samuel L. Wow. Two Sammy. 
No, Brad took Sammy. No, I know. That's oh. what I'm saying. There's two, two, two in the same two draft. Out there. Yeah. I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this <laughs> motherfucking plane. And he starts throwing snakes out of the plane. He immediately starts killing snakes because I've never very, seen that. Very soon. Uh, he, he, he opens the, like, he kicks out a window and then. <laughs> Can anybody gonna confirm to, this? I'm going to have to take Nate's word for it because right. I have not seen snakes on a plane. I, I saw, I watched a clip to confirm it. <laughs> We assume they die after they go out into the air in an airplane. I, I, I think that's fair, right? I think they just land. The snakes always land on their feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I see. I, I was hoping just uh, there was like more people to pick after me because there's some I just want to be gone because deciding is just a mess here. So this, many fun This could ones. have been a five rounder. You picked yes. too many. We, you we picked probably too many. Six. This is one we can revisit. All right. Well, I'm going to end this with, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. It's a great one because it's actually somebody killing uh, their own buddy. And uh, it's it's very, the delivery is just perfect on it. You've got Clarence. And he looks over at uh, Bobby. He said, can you fly, Bobby? <laughs> he said, Clarence, no. And then they chuck his ass out the back onto the cop car. And uh, and he's dead. Wait, from what movie? What movie are we talking about? Holy shit, <laughs> Robocop. Not one person at the oh, table yeah, knows yeah, what yeah. you're talking about. God damn. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't look great for me. There's but... Robocop. No, I know what you're talking Dude, about. Clarence Bodiger. Can yeah. you fly, Bobby? It's just a great delivery. It's one of my favorites. I thought you were talking about the Kevin Bacon tremors. No, I'm picking I'm, I'm picking for myself there, and, and we'll see how it does me. God. I'm having real trouble figuring out what my next pick's going to be because... Uh, Although there's a lot, I feel like the the pickings have become slim real quickly. I thought I was going to get some of these late. Uh, hard, hard, <laughs> hard disagree. I, I, so I'm many. dying to. Oh man, I was like, I'm going to take Inigo Montayo in the last round. No, too famous. Is it too much? Is it too much to try and push a, a fifth round in there? No, we're not doing that. I know. Okay. I say in the hard no. Okay, so <laughs> it's my turn, and I'm going to go. Oh. Jaws, smile, you son of a bitch. Nate's so mad right now. He just took his pick. No, I didn't even have it on my list. You, you were asking about animals dying. Yeah, you would have got some like dogs in Oh, the snakes. Yeah, like he kills the snakes. I'm kills glad. Jaws by shooting the oxygen tank as he's we... chomping on it. And what does he say? Smile, you son of a bitch. Because he needed him to open his mouth to be able right. to see the oxygen tank. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a steal in the fourth round. It's going to win me the draft. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I that's is it my pick I've now? Heard of that line this is the 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 final pick. This <laughs> is your Josh. last chance oh. for glory. Oh my god! All right, I'm that's just gonna go with it. Last chance to choose. Glory? I've got some also rounds, but uh, it says last chance for glory. I'm gonna go from one of my favorite movies, Russell Crowe as Maximus in Gladiator when he cuts the dude's heads off with the two swords and like a scissor type style uh, kill, and then he's like, "Are you not entertained?" Is he British? He's yeah. like uh He is actually British. Yeah, he's like he's like some sort of uh person that has a British accent or like an Australian. They British kind of all accent. have British accents in but, but does he say it like that? He says it right after. Are so, you not entertained? Sort of in that weird like he sound like Bane or something. Well, I mean they would be speaking what uh, That's how he says it, bro. He's the OG Roman Bane. I mean, they'd be speaking Italian, more than likely. Yeah. <laughs> Nick, Nick. Please, God, say it. <laughs> Are, you <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> it's a me, Maximus. <laughs> uh, come, on, come on, Luigi, give it to me. Uh, I'll, I'll spur it on him. I'll just throw it in there. They're going to do the remake with uh, Chris Pratt as <laughs> Maximus <laughs> using the Mario voice and the mustache. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Also, Rans. Oh, I've got a billion. Get away from her, you bitch. To Gorney <laughs> Weaver. I, that's funny a good enough. One. That was what it came down to I, right but, there. But, but she doesn't kill. That's that's not. She a, goes into the fight, like Zach said. She oh, fights. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. has and the then fight. She ends up killing okay. it. And the right. cool ass like machine thing. There can be only one. I don't Highland, know. Highlander. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember uh, the movie Cuffs with Christian Slater. Oh yeah. yeah. Where they're on the roof, and then those guys are like. It's a 12 gauge pump shotgun. Can't take all of us. And he starts running at him and the guy shoots him with a shotgun and he goes, all right, 
<laughs> well, he can add and he can subtract. <laughs> who's next? So, yeah, yeah. Who's next? Exactly. <laughs> so, so my favorite line, the the line I remember from that movie is he he sends her like flowers and on the card he says. It says hugs and kisses on all your pink parts. Dude, and she, that girl <laughs> in that movie is that, so That line too. was a revelation to me. I remember being like, I'm going to use this line he like, inappropriately as a sixth grader, but he I'm like, use it. He like dictates it to someone over the phone. I remember renting that movie and watching it at my grandma's house like numerous times and being like, uh, this is such a sick movie. Cuffs Slayers. was a super yeah. sleeper, man. It was a good movie. We probably missed the most legendary 80s uh, line from They Live, Roddy Roddy Piper, Rest in Peace. <laughs> came so, here to chew I've bubble come gum. here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> so I didn't pick that because I haven't seen the movie. I stayed away from the best cartoon one of all time, of course. Long live the king. Oh, by Scar? Scar and Lion King. That's a hell of a You line. saw what happened to me when you picked Lion King in a draft. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> stayed away. I, uh, as much as I was twitching, I was like, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Her- I'm Harrison- trying to pump myself up. I can pick a cartoon oh, to shit, win. Nick did it. Fuck. Okay. Harrison Ford in Air Force One. Get off my Get off plane. my plane. Uh, or uh, w- Will Smith in Independence Day. Welcome to so Earth. So I thought about no, that no, no, one. No. He does not die. He punches the alien. He punches the alien, but the alien's still alive. Yeah, it's but, still alive. Uh, However, I think I would have taken dead. it, but you guys are quoting him wrong because he Welcome clearly Earth. says Earth. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> With yeah, an R F F. Uh, Murtaugh, Lethal Weapon 2. The guy's holding up his badge. Diplomatic immunity. He says, it's just been revoked. <laughs> he shoots that dude right in the face. Too. Oh, yeah. Now, now, there was some discussion about whether or not Yippie Ka motherfucker qualified, which, doesn't. which it does not, at least in Die Hard 1. Although Happy like, Trails it Hans would two, count. It does in 2 and it does in 3. Happy Trails Hans would count. Happy I Trails don't Hans. Think it's that great Happy Trails Hans was the one I had on my list. It takes a lot of explaining. You're like, oh, because Hans thought he was a cowboy. And, yeah. and then Hans was the guy in the movie. If, couple, if, if Maurice, our, our judge, if he's a, a, a Marvel fan, which I'm not exactly sure if he is or not, Infinity War, Thanos, when he does the snap and he says, I am inevitable. That's a pretty sweet line. Yeah. I, I just, I can't get into the Marvel movies, yeah. man. I'm really no, struggling. That's, and that's, that's why I didn't pick it, but it's just like, that, that was, that, it was a pretty legit line in the yeah, movie. That is kind of a blind spot for the pod. My wife loves them. Well, she's always like, them. she's always like, is well, Thor in this yeah, no, one? You're, you're never like, a, you're not like a fanboy. No, I've just you, watched you my not, kids have wanted to watch them. So I'd you, you haven't nominated them. any of them to be on. I did enjoy the no. one with uh, with the Olsen twin sister, uh, the TV show. What was that? Oh, the... Uh, uh, um, Vision? Yeah, uh, it was... Gosh, dang it. WandaVision. WandaVision. There you go. Yeah, it was a great show. That really shit was enjoyed. good. Remember when I promised to kill you last? I lied. Yeah, yeah, that's a couple it. Arnold, that's a, Arnold out Ar- there. Arnold Commando. Well, that's the other, the other Commando line, of course, is the the famous "Let off some steam, Bennett." You well, picked you, you picked the right got, one though, from Total Recall. You got "Stick Around" from Predator. Stick Around Predator, and yeah. then uh, you're fired from True Lies. True Lies shoots him on the missile. Oh shoot! Yeah. There's another Lord of the Rings that's one. one. Um, my right wife's there. gonna be pissed. The I didn't girl. Break. Well, yeah, when she yeah. Uh, returned to the king. I am no man. Yeah, and she she drops the I am no man and stabs him in the so face. So dope. So I think that I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure. I think that's the one. Right? Aldo Rain saying, "Got a German here who wants to die for his country. Oblige him." Does yep. he then? Does he then bat him? Beat him? He down? doesn't. But uh, right. But that's, Eli Roth. Yeah, Eli Roth doing his crazy like, oh, it's a bomb in the night. <laughs> like he starts like just oh, yeah. spinning off all the Teddy baseball. Fucking ball Teddy game. fucking ball game. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty funny. Dodge this by uh, uh, in, in the Matrix. She she yeah yeah oh, yeah. yeah. She I had that on my list. What about in uh, Game of Thrones when the Hound is killing uh, the one guy and he's like, "You're shit at dying." The TV show Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, that's yeah. That was not on the my. That was that on was TV number six on list. your list. I, like, so I, I <laughs> didn't take it, but it was right there. The Joker, Dark Knight, when Heath Ledger's all just coked up and he's like, the pencil. "Watch me, uh, yeah. make this pencil disappear." <laughs> so good. And then he just slams the dude's face down. <laughs> you got courts adjourned. I got what about Judge Dredd? Judge Dredd. Oh yeah. What about Luke Perry? In Buffy the Vampire Slayer, <laughs> Ooh. when the vampire's like, now I'm a god, and then he stabs him in the heart, and he goes, and now you're a coat rack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. And I was always one. like, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> um, in 300, this is Sparta, and then he kicks a dude yeah. into a yeah. bottomless pit. I think that's the pick from 300. Zach, you're an Army of Darkness guy too, right? Nope. 
I mean, I meant Brad. Oh, Brad for sure. Army of Darkness, he's got a ton of, of yeah. good lines. Yo, she bitch. Movies. Yeah. Let's go. Well, uh, that brings up from Dustal Dawn when uh, she says, and then you'll be my slave for the rest of my life, or for the rest of your life. He's like, sorry, I've already been married. And he fires the gun and kills Sama Hayek. It's pretty legit. It's a pretty good list. Sicario, I've not seen it, but I saw this oh, in the it's list. It's really good. You got to see it. I saw it in the list, and, oh. and when he says time to meet God, and then you got to watch that. Murders the oh, family. Oh, my God. That's on my list. It was either that or End of Watch. It's put on. Oh, I like both those. Yeah. Both are really good movies. Yeah. So you should good. have Lieutenant Dan back on again. I really liked that. Well, we'll have Lieutenant back on Dan. I mean, we, we also have Super Troopers coming next year. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So, so the one last one that I have is uh, Seth Rogen, who in the beginning of the movie oh. is like trying to serve people, <laughs> and uh, he kills the guy at the end. And he's like, "Sorry, Ted, you've been served." When he kills the guy in Pineapple Express, I fucking actually that's funny. You got Pineapple Express. That was the last one that I probably cracked up the most about was Pineapple Express. But Craig Robinson, yeah, when he's on the ground and he shoots his buddy, that's it's, <laughs> So but funny. it's like you can't. He's like, I know you're going soft. Dinner's going to be cold gonna tonight, be cold asshole. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, that's some good picks. A lot out there as usual. Oh, come on, baby. Our judge, Brad's boy, Maurice, uh, is waiting. Uh, do we keep him in the same things as, as Scott? He, I think he heard about what we've been doing to judges, so he he decided to stay away. So he, he, ran, well, he, he ran off into the orchard. Yeah, I, thought, so, I thought we were keeping him in the outback. <laughs> so we're shooting off flares like red flares <laughs> green flares when we're ready we're gonna call him in we'll have to hit him up on his mobile and we will see if he's uh, available on his mobile on his mobile all right well on that note that's the draft we'll listen to some ads and we'll be right back california has the largest population in the united states and the site of some of the most famous true crime cases in history but there's more than meets the eye to the crime in california Join Sean, Jessica, and Charles on the California True Crime Podcast as they cover crime both infamous and overlooked from around our state while looking at the deeper history that goes beyond beaches and movie stars. All right, we are ready to. Uh, we got our judge here. Um, he went running out into the orchard. Uh, we shot our flares off. He's coming back. Maurice. We found him out in the outback. <laughs> <laughs> Marie, Maurice, Maurice, one of uh, one of Brad's um, old friends, is here to be our guest judge tonight. Brad, how do you uh, how do you know Maurice? How do you guys? What's your guys' story? So, so Maurice and I, uh, I started working at Outback my junior year of college uh, at UOP in Stockton, and uh, I was a a bus boy. And uh, Maurice was on, uh, he was one of our back of the house guys. He was on, on dish and doing the salads and stuff. And the, the thing that you had to know about Maurice is when you first met him, he's a shit talker. He's a shit talker. <laughs> I mean, he will shit talk pretty much anybody. It didn't matter if it was our boss. It didn't matter who it was. Maurice was always shit talking. Brad and, told us, I got my friend coming on. We're like, okay, what's he all about? And Brad goes, he talks shit. <laughs> that was like literally that's, the only. That's a superpower. Huh? Yep, that's a superpower. But uh, absolutely. But Maurice uh, has a great story because uh, as he started off uh, uh, doing dishes and stuff, but after uh, uh, some years at Outback, moving his way up the the ladder, eventually he became the uh, proprietor, the owner of the Outback Steakhouse. That's Stockton. crazy. And uh, yeah. it was a very cool story. So, Mo, do you want to talk a little bit about your your, your restaurant experience and then and where you are now? Yeah, oh, man, it was, it was awesome. Uh, like I said, I started out as a dishwasher. I opened, actually opened the place, helped uh, put tables in when we first opened, and just worked through the system, you know, from every aspect. And like he said, along the way, I talked shit to a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, by work ethic and, and, you know, just staying positive and doing my job, it, it turned out good for me. So, you know, I did that for 18 and a half years. And uh, now with uh, Raising Canes, they're up and company, company out here in California. So trying to help them grow. Dude, Raising Canes. Right. Yeah. So is it like, it's like a Nashville hot chicken type deal, right? No, 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 absolutely not. It's I've just never been. Fingers. Just chicken strips. So yeah. all, just chicken strips. All you're going to get is chicken strips. Chicken oh, strips. Which, uh, do you got fries. a bunch of different sauces? 
Nope, not at all. One what? sauce, the cane sauce. The cane There's sauce. five items on my menu. So you have one sauce and chicken wings and fries and no, nothing chicken, else? Chicken fingers, not, 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 not chicken, wings. Chicken, chicken strips. Chicken fingers. They're chicken, chicken, strips. Chicken, chicken fingers. So you're going to get three, four, or six. That's it. There's... Are you Five serious? Items. It's it's like the Five Outback. Items. It's I mean it's about it's like the it's like it's in, like and the out. in and out burger of chicken. Yeah, and then yeah, they have lines it, out the door constantly yeah. with only all, one all, sauce. All your, How many people bring in their own sauce? Get, How many bring, people none. bring their own sauce, Maurice? People buy the sauce by like the cup. <laughs> like, the <original laughs> cups, people will buy the cup full. That is wild. What they kind of sauce is it? it? Is it is it like a it's buffalo just, wing sauce? No, no, it no, absolutely not. It's like uh, it's, I can't even explain it. Until you taste it. It's it's crazy. I my first day I trained down down in LA and I was like, dude, are you guys putting crack in the flour? <laughs> because it was so it was absolutely so busy and chaotic. I couldn't believe it. Like you said, it's just chicken. All it is is five items. You get a box combo. It comes with four chicken fingers, coleslaw, toast, and fries and the sauce. That's it. Oh what? You get some garlic bread? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, it's the best bread you'll ever have. Oh, now you're not, now, why, now I'm hungry. You, yeah, you yeah. buried the lead there when you should have <laughs> led with garlic bread. I heard now raising, I understand. I heard there's a raising canes going in, possibly in series. Is that what? Is that no? Have you heard no. That? So we we opened the one in Manteca uh, okay. two months ago, and uh, we opened up the first day. We did seventy eight thousand dollars in sales. That's wow. insane. <laughs> the first day. I mean, I feel like there's a sponsorship opportunity I just, here. Just about to say, <laughs> there might be, there might be. Because I'm about, you know what? Whether they're out there is or not, I'm probably going to be eating raisin canes on the next pod. So, I'm so know. excited it, now. It I want to try this fucking sauce. Oh, dude, this, you're going to be hooked. I'm telling you. I, I was like, did you guys sprinkle cocaine? <laughs> yeah, you had to. <laughs> oh my God, Maurice, Maurice, you should have heard Brad. He just did a commercial in a full on cokehead voice with like <laughs> real animated, like uh, you know, Brad. It was well, fucking great. Ba- based off the dude that's all coked up and, and diehard, you you know that dude. He's all he's the one. Yeah, that- absolutely. <laughs> and the reason why I told him, the reason why I said it, they were like, why is cocaine? I was like, because you get high really fast. <laughs> Down, you know, you come down and you got to get high again. You drive away like, and you just so, turn right around. I was like, you, yeah, you got to come back. Because you see the same people over and over again. And it's chicken fingers. Well, speaking You're of like, co- really? speaking of cocaine, Maurice, what is your thoughts of Die Hard? You know what I mean? What, what, I want to hear your thoughts about itself, Die Hard. That's yeah. one of my favorite movies of all time. Is it really? Oh, man. Yeah, who doesn't like Die Hard? And, now, and the question is, 100%. the question is, is it is it an action flick or is it a Christmas flick? Oh, I was that's, just going to ask That's my that. question. Yes, please too. answer that. I was just one, I was going to, I was going to push you on that. What do you I, think? I think it's a little bit of both. Okay, okay. I like if it. It's not, if, it, if it's not on at Christmas, something's wrong. I'm with you. It's true. That is true. That's I, why we threw it into our, our Christmas playlist. And, 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 and I and I made a I made a, I, a little bit of a point by point case uh, for it on our our Tuesday pod that uh, Nate had a it's more than, It's more than just a, the, the, like a whim. You know, there's some real evidence for it as a Christmas movie. Well, so. we're talking about it Christmas is. movies, and we had Scott Beck on the last our Christmas vacation pod, and we asked him his favorite Christmas movies and his his cycle of what he goes through during Christmas. What are your top, you know, three to four to five Christmas movies? Uh, you know, I really don't have a favorite Christmas movie. Is there one is that's like? Crazy. Is there one that's kind of that that you'll turn on? Is there one that you'll just have while you're? I watch Die- honestly. I watch Die Hard. All right, that's really? good. <laughs> okay, that's you're good. one of the people like the big teddy bear. The big teddy bear in the limo gets it for me. <laughs> Argyle, my dude, Argyle. That's Argyle. my kid's favorite Absolutely. character. An all time. He had the best name. in in the movie. He got to sit in the limousine and get paid. <laughs> He's just drinking <laughs> in there. <laughs> First day on. The I want to know Bruce Willis's tip at the end of that. At the end of the movie, what's he tipping? What's he tipping the limo driver? Uh, yeah, well, he's a cop. He maybe he's not tipping much. Maurice, <laughs> Maurice, let me ask you a serious question. Say, say you're Argyle. Absolutely. Say you're Argyle, and you're in that limo. Do you drive into that van and like insert yourself into the situation? I would just sit Abs- in the car. Absolutely not. Yeah, exactly. I would have been gone probably like 10 minutes after. Like, I would have dropped you off and like, I'm going, I'll be back. I'll be we're, back. We're on the same page. Yeah, because he had some, because Argo had some chick on the line too. And everything. Oh yeah, he was playing, yeah, he, he was had, playing after yeah. parties. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. Oh, I'd have been, I'd, I'd have left him my number. Or, <laughs> back then, my, it had been a page the or page something. Like, yeah. when, you, when you're, when the party's up in about 10 minutes, page me ahead of time, I'll, I'll be right back. I got Ma- something to do. Maurice already would have been at that chick's house and the freaking Ar- yeah, Ar- Argyle's, yeah, absolutely. Argyle's over here giving Bruce Willis a ride home. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Absolutely. Man. Just hit me, hit me on the pager. I'll come right back. Don't worry about it. We'll be good. Because he had to been down there, what, six, seven hours? Like, yeah, he's like done it for a long time. It's a deep He investment. was done it for a long time. Never got off the piss or nothing. No, didn't even get his tip. Uh, so, hey, Mo, you, uh, you're you our judge for this week. So you looked at uh, some of our most memorable uh, uh, movie one-liners in the process of a kill. So so going into this, what was kind of your, your thought process for, for scoring here? I looked at when they got picked. Oh, okay. So well, just that, to, that was the key for me. So you're judging us on whether we waited till the end to get a good one, huh? Or you let some slide. Like, okay. uh, let me see. Where is it at? Well, I will say this. I'll preface this by saying that, that Mo and I have been in a, a fantasy football league. I believe this is our 22nd year, I think. Are you serious? Just about. Yeah, just we've, about, we've yeah. had we've had 20 a, years. A bunch of us old outbackers have all been in a fantasy football league a long time. And, say, and all, it's like maybe one or two people have changed throughout the yeah. entire Yeah, Are you time like 50? Yeah, Maurice, you know what this means, man. You guys are old, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm 43. <laughs> I'm, I'm, 40, I'm yeah. 43. I'm 43. I'm 43 in like a 22 year old's body. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, we've been, like in, we've been in like, fantasy league for half of our life. That's what's crazy. Yeah, half our, our lives we've been my, in this fantasy league. Our old boss, Craig, once told me when I got into management, he goes, hey, I'm going to tell you now. He goes, you're going to get older, and everybody that works around you is going to be the same age. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If you stand, and, and you stand in the restaurant industry, and right now I'm older, and everybody that I just hired is 19, 20, 21, like when I started. So it's absolutely true. So I got older. And everybody stayed the same age. You're, you're living the life of Matthew McConaughey, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I, I will say this: that that uh, uh, Mo is actually, and in, in some of the rest has been. He's hired some some former students of mine. And uh, there was one time I was in the classroom, and, and this student just out of the blue, <laughs> out the blue, he says, "Hey, Mr. Miss, uh, Mr. Frank, what's up with uh, the spin move?" And I looked at him, and my eyes just got big. I was like, "Wait a second. <laughs> Now, now the spin move is one of the most legendary moments in, uh, we used to play football with Outback crew. Like we would go out and, uh, over to UOP in, in the fields and, and play tackle football. And, uh, we were pretty dumb and young and, and we could still handle that. And, uh, yeah, I might've, uh, after I'll, I'll, I'll preface it by saying I was pretty tired. I just scored a few different touchdowns. I was having a good game <laughs> late in the game. His head's heavy. What do you think? His head's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> late in the game, uh, one of, uh, one of the, uh, the guys catches a pass and he's out in the flat and he comes towards me. I was following somebody on deep route and I turn around to go, to go hit him. And he throws maybe the slowest spin move of all time. And I just basically kind of just fall on my ass. <laughs> oh, no. I got shook out my boots. So, imagine you, it happening in slow motion, but in real life. That's how slow it was. Like, we it all made, watched it. And it made Brad fall we down? We all watched it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. His oh head went God. first. And then everything else went. It was the, the, class, the most classic thing I've ever seen. Because it looked like it was in slow motion, but it was in full speed. That's how slow the turtle was. And, the, and then you told this kid, hey, bring this shit up in Mr. Frank's <laughs> class. Yes, absolutely. So I'm like, I'm like, you go to Mr. Frank's class. I said, I'm going to text. I go, what time do you have class? He goes, oh, it's at this time. I said, okay, I'm going to text you. And I don't care what's going on. You need to say this as soon as I text you. I swear, my eyes got so big. I looked at him. I was like, "How the hell do you know that?" <laughs> and yeah, and, it and was, he abs- the kid absolutely did it. Oh, it was it was legit. And I immediately texted him. I was like, "Oh, you asshole, man!" <laughs> but that, so but awesome. I've been hearing about that shit for twenty years. So it's it's one of those things. Yeah, that it, the it, does, it gets brought up every time we all get together. For Without sure, hundred percent. Back when UOP Stadium was still around, right? Like, yeah. Well, was, we we couldn't yeah. get in the stadium, but we'd be playing on some of like the the, the other yeah, oh, okay. stuff. Yeah. I picture it in the stadium with a you know surround in like thirty thousand thirty thousand <laughs> oh, watching that in the stadium. Times too. <laughs> well, Maurice, yeah. you can rest assured that it'll be brought up every time I see Brad now. Too. <laughs> you should. It, it, it was the worst thing I have ever seen. Next, <laughs> next, uh, next time I see Brad in any sort of open space, I'm just gonna run up to him. Just spin around. Him. And I'll be like, Brad, don't fall down. You're okay. <laughs> don't break a hip. <laughs> Pick that big ass head up. <laughs> yeah, Brad Hedrum, that's him. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah, no, that's that. Mo, let me know about really quick starting it out back. Uh-huh. It was, hey man, that dude's got a big head. <laughs> <laughs> I am sitting with a few Dad. gentlemen who also have some pretty large dumps. I got a so. big head too, Mo. Don't, don't, don't we? We hang in groups. Yeah, there's no, yeah, those, there's no those small heads and, here. Uh, <laughs> Our classic Outback softball tournament every year was one of the big things that we did every every year. Maurice, for Maurice, a long time. I gotta ask you. So Brad says that you play a lot of softball. 
Yes. So let me ask you, how many neon colored softball jerseys do you own right now? Go. <laughs> None. Shut what? up. You can't play softball I, unless you have neon colored jerseys. Every so softball I jersey. I don't, I don't I don't play lob ball. I play men's fast pitch. Is that okay? So that's all I've seen are slow pitch guys. So you're playing fast no, pitch I, yeah. and it, I play competitive men's fast pitch. And in the men's fast pitch, they're pitching underhand just like, like the, a just like, like collegiate girl. girls. Yeah. And, but they're throwing ten miles an hour hard. But dude, they throw so fucking hard. So uh, yeah, I used to go. My dad was my dad played softball for years and years, and they had a men's fast pitch behind uh, at Pedretti. And dude, I remember thinking, yeah. holy crap, that guy's like forty. It's close too. That's the thing. It's yeah. super fast, but they're close to you. Gets on Absolutely. you quick. So in the fast pitch, they don't wear neon colored jerseys, huh? No. <laughs> do you <We> have <laughs> Do you have a Do you have a backpack that has two bats that come up on either side of your shoulders? I, I do have one of those. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, all right. But, now but we're speaking. It only has one bat. It only oh, has one okay. Bat. Okay. Now, did you you did win a you guys your your team won a national championship one year? Is that true? Yeah, what? absolutely. Wow. Uh, last wow. year, yeah. last year wow. we won the, the national. Talk about burying yeah. the lead, dude. That's sick. Yeah, yeah he's national I thought you were like half drunk every game because that's how I play softball. <laughs> uh, I have a few guys that will be using our drunk. I bet it's you absolutely. do. <laughs> like I, I have a friend that pitches and he throws better the glassier his eyes get. That's crazy. So we, we play, I played a few. We're slow, like I played a few we, we slow pitch them. seasons and uh, it's really just an excuse for guys to get drunk before the game and and after the game <laughs> and then they and then they somehow drive home to their wives and they're like yeah I just played a softball game <laughs> pretty much. Kind of like Bev's. Well, Mo and, I's, <laughs> Mo and I's old boss, he got he got kicked out of a game after hitting a double, and he was oh. in sandals, and they kicked He's him out of the game. He's playing flip-flops. <laughs> he, he got flip-flops, and he hit a double, and then they were like, hey, man, you can't play in flip-flops, and he was he was a little drunk, too. Yeah. So they tell him after he field. hit the double? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't even up to the plate. he just showed up. Yeah. He literally showed up. We're playing. He showed up. He's drunk. He's like, I'm getting in there. He's the boss. <laughs> He's paying for the league. So we're like, sure, Craig, go ahead. He goes up there, hits a double in some flip flops, and then they're like, uh, no, nah, you can't do that. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna file this under things that happen in California. <laughs> yeah, that, that's yeah. back before the, you know when nobody sued anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and no camera phones. And no camera phones because oh hell, that would. I'm kind of glad that building got tore down because if those walls could talk. Yeah, our, our old outback was uh, recently demolished. It's turned into a gas station. So uh, there's a lot of memories that went down in that rubble, and and many of That's them where they should stay. Many of them should stay there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see who won right, this draft. I'm fucking excited right go. now. So Mo, you got to know, as, as competitive as we were in, in all our sports and, and things at Outback, uh, these three gentlemen I'm here with, we're, we're we're super competitive. So right now we've got uh, uh, Nate and Nick both have five wins each. I've got uh, four wins, and Zach over here has got three wins. So we're, we're very competitive, so we're looking forward to hearing uh, your, your process and then also you going from, from worst to first and telling us how the teams did. Okay, so first I'm going to preface this by saying who had to wrap around because the person was terrible. <laughs> which oh. side? Which side? The, oh, uh, shit, the number, the number four pick. Number four. Uh, who was four? It was four. They let You're a lot right. of good stuff it was, go. They let horrible. a lot of good stuff go on It was very bad. I'm not You're, sure. I'm not sure who it was. That's my boy we, Nate, dude. He's got questionable I, taste in a lot of stuff. Bro. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, man. I, you know. <laughs> most job, I, I the most judges preface. This is a couple of weeks in a row. I'm starting to feel... <laughs> Little the wraparound pick is like that's a good pick. That's a great one. And he one. just botched it. Oh and man, it. <laughs> just fucking hundred buckered it, bro. Jeez. All right. So you should already know where I'm going with who had the worst. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh God. That's rough. Oh, so let's go. So there we go. So the the number team four is, uh, team is four? out of it. Team four is is fourth place. But who's on his oh, team? Yeah, we'll oh, the team off, four was uh, uh, the Terminator saying "Hasta la vista, baby" in T two. Um, Inigo Montoya saying, my name is, uh, hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. I want my father back, you son of a bitch, Princess Bride. Um, you are the disease, I'm the pick. cure. That Cobra. shouldn't even been picked at all. <laughs> you are the disease, I'm the cure, Cobra, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. And then uh, I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Snakes on a plane, Samuel L. Jackson. Maurice. That would halfway say, I'm just going to say that. Like, how do you let 
uh, you know, the Django one. How do you let that one slide by? Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Wait, you're, saying the, I, you say, a, you're saying the Django pick was the one that I missed? Because you let it, whoever let it get all the way back to the first person. Thank you. you. All God, three of I, know. I didn't even there. have that one. I'm, 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 I'm feeling better about this. I didn't have that Gladiate, one. Gladiator. See, so basically, I'm gonna give you my worst and then the best, and then we'll go to the two in the middle. Okay. All so right. So because number four was so bad, you how do you let Gladiator get picked in the fourth round? Gladiator to the last one pick, guy? baby. Oh my God, Maurice. How does that happen? I'm on. We're on the same level, bro. I am with <laughs> you, dude. So you're saying number one won this draft? Team one won this draft? Absolutely. Oh, Just because baby. four was so oh, terrible. Baby. Zach, what? Big Z with two in a row. Oh, he was my smart. God. How do you? He, so he he hit it in the nail. He got the number one pick. That's like getting my home. With Scarface, right? With Scar, you, you got him. You knocked that out the park. Done. That's what I said. He knocked it out the park. Undeniable one on one, bud. And then just getting in the fourth round, getting. Are you not entertained, my dude? Max, how did that slip that far? <sighs> are there any other it's picks a, out there? It's Are there the any other Jay Z song? How does he get this far down? Oh, good stuff. He doesn't fuck around, and I like it. You just said it. You didn't say who third and second was because they don't matter. That's Hang on, true. though. We're having a little internal competition here, Maurice. So, out of teams two and three, which one was your best team out of those two? I had three not being my second best pick. All right, okay. let's read these teams. Okay. What, 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 do we, what do we got? At, who's, who's the now? Who, who, what did Zach? All right, so team? what is my championship so we, we, team? We've read so the fourth was, place. Team. I'll Nate. go back. To, I'll go back to third place. So third place was Nick. Team two. Uh, you got do do you feel lucky, Punk? Well, do you uh, Dirty Harry? Uh, the Terminator. I'll be back from the Terminator. Uh, some Latin shit from Boondock Saints, and then uh, that's what that one. That one kind of tossed me a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then Jaws. It doesn't uh, have aliens on here. No, that's true. Oh, fuck. Killing me. I wanted to do Alien. Hey, that was one of his also rants after the draft was over. How do you not have Get Away From Her, You Bitch? (laughs) Because it's Jaws, dude. He kills the shark with the oxygen tank. That's (laughs) that's, that's, that's that's a a bigger deal. It's a bigger bigger deal than Aliens. I'm sorry. And then uh, Team 3 got second place. That was myself. Uh, You got the uh, As I Lay My Avengers Upon Thee, Pulp Fiction. Good pick. Good pick. There you go. Total Recall. Consider this a divorce. Uh, Excellent look. pick, because if I'm killing my wife, she's going, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, you got Lord of the Rings, uh, You Shall Not Pass, Gandalf. And then uh, Clarence Boddicker, Robocop, Can You Fly, Bobby? That's what lost it for you. No one knows that quote. No one knows the Can You Fly, Bobby quote. Are you, Maurice, are you a Robocop fan? I am, but that one wasn't, you know, yeah. kind of. Yeah. All right. All right. I, I'm, I'm more of when he fired him and he shot him out the window. You're yeah. <laughs> that would have been a good one on for RoboCop. All right, and then the uh, the winning team that would be Zach. We've got uh, say hello to my little friend Scarface. Uh, I like the way you die, boy. Jing, uh, Jingo Unchained. You got Jingo saying that. Uh, Johnny Home Alone. Keep the change, you filthy animal. And Maximus, are you not entertained, Gladiator? Man, murderers. So rough. the be- the be- the best killer one in Django is when he told her, "Say goodbye, Miss Sally." <laughs> and she's shouting about the door. Yeah. Just, shot. All right. So, what are your picks? That some of your picks that uh, we didn't get to that you were thinking of. Uh, you you mentioned a couple aliens and uh, the alien aliens was a good one. Uh, but most of them are, are there. But the aliens was the one that really stood out to me. Damn it! Damn, Damn it! I love it. Thank you, thank you so much, Maurice, for coming on and giving me my second victory in as many weeks. So that just got me you, second, though, anyways. Well, whoever, like I said, whoever number four was just gave it away. Yeah, it well, like, I don't this know. One wasn't, I, I'm not this sure This one was the hard no, one to fight. I think that whoever that was left. We can rely on Nate to uh, give away the draft every once in a while. Nate, put in auto, on. Nate was on auto draft for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I clicked on auto. I didn't even know what happened. I was, I, was down, I was down taking a shit, and I came back, and my team was up on the hey, board. Hey, Mo, he bought the magazine he brought the magazine to the draft he was, <laughs> yeah. was looking through the magazine the fantasy or, football you know, magazine you, you, you have predator when he's like you what ugly mother there's a bunch from predator for sure yeah there was it's, a bunch of arnold ones we didn't yeah. get to we decided that we could have done a whole two. list with I mean, predator yeah i should have probably gotten all arnold that would have been a better <laughs> hey mo 
thank you so much, bud. It's good to talk to you and, and, and glad to have you on this pod. And I'm glad you're Absolutely. a fan and checking it out. That was thank aw- you, Mo. Awesome to meet you, even though uh, your taste in uh, action line sucks. Hey, hey, Maurice. <laughs> hey, Maurice, this is Zach, the guy that you just crowned champion for the second uh, week you, in a row. You earned it, buddy. Let me, let, me it. Tell you, let me tell you something right now. I, I only get laid when I win this draft. <laughs> so you just did something well, for the I community. Have, I'm glad. I'm glad your hand gets a break this week. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to see somebody give back like you, Maurice, and give back to the community and give back to me. I appreciate you. And now that Zach won, absolutely, we're, we're gonna have him. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna tell him. I have him report back next week what sort of quote unquote kill line he used right before he uh, yeah. you know, did yeah. the deed. You, yeah. better, you better drop a good line today. <laughs> oh God, what was your kill line? I Legendary. <laughs> It better not be like, considered this. I'm going to look right at my wife and I'm be like, buy a cone Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Mo. All right. Hey, take care, man. And uh, we'll talk soon. And, and uh, glad to hear from you. And this, this is going to be coming out December. So uh, uh, maybe awesome. first week, I think December, second week. Yeah. December. So you should share it with all your uh, many social media followers. Yeah, hey, Absolutely. If, if you play softball, that means you got a bunch of guys driving to softball yeah, games. I, Make them listen I, to our I'm podcast. Gonna out, I'm going to shoot out to 50,000 people for you. Uh, we it. love it. We love it. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, Mo. Have a good one. Oh, you're welcome. You too. All right. That was good stuff. All right. So moving on to our number, uh, our movie number three in our Christmas run. <laughs> oh, there it Christmas is. Christmas bells. Christmas bells. Nate's on the pick. And Nate, what are we, what are we moving on to, man? So uh, I've, I've, I've become the rom-com uh, guy, although I, Zach did bring Forgetting Sarah Marshall to the table, so I don't, don't want to overshadow Zach is not that, the but. rom-com guy. So, 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 <laughs> so Love, Love Actually is uh, one of my all-time favorite movies, period. I, when, I, when I did my ranking some years ago, Love Actually was in my top five without regard. I believe it was Holy three. Shit. I believe it was yeah. three. And movies I looked at that of all list time. And three. I just about lost my mind. It was like four, or five, four or five. I thought it was three. It wasn't. And it so it doesn't matter. It's <laughs> <laughs> Brad, is, it, is it in your top 50 movies? Uh, no. It's not. Is it in your top a hundred? No. Wow. Yeah, they're both. That's wrong. So, um, so I'm a big fan of love. Actually. I love it as a Christmas movie. I love it as a movie anytime. Um, and so if you haven't noticed, we're kind of bringing some diverse, some, some like different angles on Christmas. Right. So we did, uh, we start. We kicked it off with with Christmas Vacation, which is kind of a adult comedy Christmas movie, but but made one of the most beloved. Now we went Die Hard this week. Love Actually for the romantic angle next week, and then we'll finish the series off with something that's more straight ahead. So next week we got Love Actually, the draft. Oh, and a special guest drinking with the uh, drinking with Brad's wife, Melissa. Yeah. Boy. This is this goes back like probably I don't how love actually I don't know how, how many years oh, that is. Yeah, it's almost twenty years, I think. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean this has been going on for probably like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen years of their shared love of this movie. Nate and your and my my yeah. bewilderment. And, and Brad loves to hate it and hates to love it. And I have so, a hard time Meli- of picturing Melissa loving love actually. Yeah. So like we're gonna talk about that. I cannot wait to talk to Melissa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so full gonna... disclosure, I watched it for the first time last Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "This is lovely. <laughs> this is a movie." <laughs> okay, can't wait. <laughs> There's actors. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have some diversity of opinion, uh, and we are going to talk with uh, Melissa, Brad's wife, uh, as our guest rather than the director, uh, and we are going to draft in the following episode based on some of the many very romantic gestures in love actually the most memorable movie romantic gesture see that it's it's going to be interesting because i it'll, i'll be surprised to see how many actually get drafted from love actually well there i mean it's a great movie to spur this right because it, almost every one of the several storylines has one we could all wear the t-shirts there's one though that we could all wear the t-shirts to me kind of stands out there's one that stands out to me too but 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 when i started thinking about it i was like there's a, there's a couple different ones there in in that yeah. even in that same thread so i'm i'm a, i'm 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 all in on this i've got a one of one already <laughs> Well, there's one that, you know, I, we, we, we can't, we, yeah. let's, not, let's not go too far down the road. Don't step on it. All right. Okay. I'm going to want, I'm going to want first pick next week again. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Well, you win, you get to choose, you know, where you pick in the draft. You get order. to tell uh, yeah. Brad's Tamagotchi, which one he's going to I'm, I'm burning that Teddy Ruxman when I get home. <laughs> no doubt. Dude. 
Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> it steals souls. I think like, it's, I mean, it's probably worth like 3000 bucks. Don't burn it. Just sell what's it on the, eBay. What's the show or movie? I just have a vision right now of like a scary scene where a Teddy Ruxpin like grows. Oh, it's in Look Who's Talking. He's looking at his Teddy Ruxpin and then it like Oh yeah, because he's, he's all afraid of everything in his in his bedroom. Oh, dude. He doesn't want to sleep in the... Should we do, do Look Who's Talking on the pod? Yeah, and you're eight. <laughs> you're a passionate Look Who's Talking fan. This is known on the pod. I mean, you, you jumped on I actually Nate had I had a fan reach out face. to me reach out to me and said uh I see who's talking. Thank you for defending Look Who's Talking. <laughs> and I was like all day. Zach's talking. That's who's talking. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. So, you guys, thanks for listening. Uh, you got anything else, uh, you guys? Merry Christmas. Sh- sh- like us, share us, tell your tell your friends about us, do all the things. Tell your friends, be like, hey, Nate got last again. Do all the things in all the places. <laughs> hey, it's a, it's a Christmas gift. If you just say, you know what, I didn't get you a gift, but the gift I'm going to give you is listen to the BBK podcast. Or, you don't have to buy gifts. You can just tell people about the no, BBK no, podcast. No, no, no. Time out. If you're going to give us as a gift, you must take the other person's phone subscribe go to the podcast app subscribe leave us a five-star <laughs> review and then go in and say something just about my sultry voice I'm, I'm, i've decided to start pushing my own voice <laughs> zach's zach's feeling a little bit i'm right. super Four jealous time of, draft champion uh, i've just won two in a row and i'm like you know my voice is sexy too <laughs> or like zach would do it take your pants off then get your partner's phone and then look for news open your phone i'm just saying ask your friends for their phone scroll their photos for nudes and then like our podcast and subscribe. Thank from, you. From their phone. He's not just saying to do that and then get on your own phone again. You should have already on done that on your phone. phone. You should always scan your phone for nudes. And then you should always <laughs> subscribe to our podcast. Your phone should never not have Write it happening. down on your hand just in case you, you forget <laughs> when you get their phone. Your right hand so you see it later. Hey, thank you guys. Hey, that was Die Hard. <laughs> later. Bye-bye. Don't touch that dial just yet, folks. This is Brad from the BVK Pod. Right now, we're going to play a song, I'll Be All Right, from Scotch Beck. This is a live version that he recorded from his album, The Ballad of Bosco Jenkins. Go to scotchbeck.com. Go check out all the shirts, the CDs, the things that you can give to your friends and family for Christmas. Great stocking stuffers. Uh, It's a great song. Once you hear it, go check them out. Drunken tears flowing from my eyes as I sing another hopeless lullaby for you, one you'll never hear. Say goodbye unexpectedly, but I. Really knew something wasn't right. At least that is what I tell myself. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Just need an hour or two to write my mind of you and at least get something. To this melody of mine for you, so I can finally heal. I'll be alright, I'll be alright. Just need an hour or two to write my mind of you and at least get something.
I'll be 